Hello and welcome to this chapter on time, speed and distance. This is a very important chapter from aptitude exams perspective since you'll see a lot of questions on time, speed and distance. Also this chapter contains multiple concepts. So what we've done is we've divided the concept videos on this chapter into three videos. And this is the first video. In this video, I'll talk about, I'll introduce you first to the concept of time, speed, distance, relationship between them. We will learn the concept of converting into same units. That means if kilometer per hour has to be converted into meters per second or vice versa, we'll teach you that. We'll attempt a couple of questions on that. And then we will also cover a very important concept of proportionality. That means the use of ratios and how that is helpful to solve these questions faster. So let's get started. First, I would like you to focus on uh, this concept of TSD. I'm sure all of us already know the relationship between speed, time and distance. That means if let's say travel a distance that is a function of two things what those two things are speed into time now so what this means is if your speed you are increasing your distance will also increase if you are increasing your time your distance will also increase that means distance has a direct proportionality between speed and distance has a direct proportionality with time as well now however the relationship between speed and time is of inverse proportion and why do I say that is if let's say I make this distance as constant that means you have, to, you have to cover a constant distance if you increase your speed that means if your speed is high you take less time to cover that distance isn't it but if you take more time so your speed has to reduce to cover the same distance so between speed and time or between time and speed there's a inverse relationship now this is very very important and we'll elaborate on this more as we go forward in this video. Now if let's say in the exam you are given speed, you are given let's say time, so we can easily calculate distance, isn't it? The problem happens is if let's say the speed is given as 36 km per hour, whereas your let's say your time is given as uh, 20 seconds and they are asking calculate distance in this scenario it's important to convert kilometer per hour or this the unit of time is in hours and this is in seconds so how would you calculate the unit of distance would it be in uh, kilometers would it be in meters and so on and so forth so for that i will explain a very simple concept as to how we can convert uh, things into the same unit so now we know that one kilometer is equals to thousand meters we also know one hour equals to 60 minutes or which is actually 60 because each minute has 60 seconds so you have 60 into 60 seconds that means this is how much one hour is equal to 3600 seconds now this is important because in the exam what you can do is you can convert this into let's say meters per second so that this is also in seconds and you can calculate distance in meters now if let's say i have to convert kilometer per hour how i can do this is i can say this would be equal to thousand because one kilometer is thousand meters upon hour one hour is how much 3600 uh, seconds so this would be thousand upon six thirty six hundred meters per second now if i ask you uh, and this actually you can simplify this further so for example if these 2020 two, gone and 2 into 5 and 2 into 18 that means if I say 1 kilometer per hour you have to convert into meters per second this would be 5 by 18 meters per second this is very very simple now this is something that we should remember in the exam if one kilometer per hour is 5 by 18 meters per second, obviously we can say that one meter per second is also equal to 18 upon 5 
kilometer per hour. So now let's come to our problem. So they said 36 kilometer per hour. Now this we can convert it into kilometer per hour into meters per second. How can we do that is we can say this will be 36 into 5 by 18. So which equals to 18 into 2. This is actually your 10 meters per second, right? And now distance we know is speed into time. Speed is 10 into time is 20 seconds. So your distance would be 200. 200 what? 200 meters. Why? Because this was meter per second and this was second. So second into meters per second, second second gets cancelled and you have 200 meters as your answer. So this is the concept of converting and the simple concept of and the relationship between time, speed and distance. Okay. Let's attempt this question quickly. Uh, this should not take more than 5 seconds. It says how much time will a car take to cover a distance of 300 meters running at 54 kilometers per hour. That means you are already given distance and your distance is 300 meters. You are already given speed which is your 54 kilometer per hour and you have to calculate time. This is very simple. Time would be equal to distance upon speed. However, here the issue is you have kilometer per hour, but this is meters. So what we'll do simply, we'll say we can convert it into meters per second. So 54 into, remember the conversion, 1000 upon 3600 or this was 5 upon 18. So you should do this orally. So 18 into 3, so this is your 15 meters per second. That means time equals to distance upon speed. Distance is 300 upon your speed is 15. So this comes to 20 seconds. Now this is a oral 5 second question just to practice on the same thing. Now let's come to the very very important concept of proportionality in DSD. So let's say we have two guys here Usain Bolt and Flash. And let's say if they are participating, uh, you know, in a race or let's say Usain is going from this direction to this direction where we'll ask Flash to run from this direction to this direction. Now the question is, we learned already that speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. Now what does this mean? And how can we apply this concept in questions? Now that means if let's say speed of bolt is sb and we also know let's say speed of flash is sf now if we know the ratio of their speeds can we not calculate the ratio of the time they will take isn't it we can actually calculate this that means if the ratio of their speed is given the ratio of their time that they'll take would be inverse or reverse of that that means one by that same speed so for example if let's say if we know that SB is to SF is given as let's say in this question uh, 1 is to 3 that means speed of flash is 3 times faster than bolt that means if this speed of SB is actually 1 and this is 3 now we can from this we can infer that the time bolt will take the ratio not exact time that ratio between the time taken by bolt and flash would be in the ratio of 3 to 1. Now this is an extremely extremely powerful concept and why do I say that is now imagine in this race let's say this was a 100 meters race and if let's say we say they both started running from this direction to this direction and this into this. So when will they meet each other? Now imagine if their, if their speed was equal what would have happened they would have met somewhere exact in the middle. Let's just say hypothetically this is the exact middle that means this will cover the same distance, this will cover the same distance, correct? Because ultimately your speed is proportional to distance. That means with the same speed, you cover the same distance, right? So, however, what's happening in this case is flash is faster. That means where flash will cover 3x distance, Usain will cover x distance, isn't it? And in this we know that if their speed is less than 1 is to 3 that means the distance also will be in the same ratio that means the distance covered by them is x or 3x now we know x plus 3x is how much how much is that distance that is 100 meters right 
that means what would be the distance by x that will be covered i would say 1 upon how much 1 upon 4 because total distance is 100 right 1 upon 4 into 100 that means this will cover 25 meters in the same time this will cover three times the distance this will cover 75 meters so you can actually calculate where would they meet in between so this is the concept and application of this proportionality let's attempt a couple of questions to further this understanding now we are given in this question a and b takes 14 minutes okay this is a this is b a and b takes 14 minutes and 56 minutes respectively okay to cover a distance of 6300 meters okay now the question is what is the ratio of their speed this is very simple your time is given here and your time is given here and they are asking ratio of their speeds so i'm sure we will automatically jump and say speed equals to distance upon time and uh, you know so speed of this would be uh, 6300 upon 14 right whereas speed of b would be 6300 upon 56 and you know we will just take the ratio i would suggest do not do this who wants to get into this whole calculation right so a smarter way is something i already discussed the concept of proportionality now we know a is to b the speed or the time has an inverse relationship in this time is given as the t a is to t b is given as 14 is to 56 that means simply put this is 1 is to 4 correct that is the ratio if this is the ratio of the time that they are taking can we not calculate the ratio of their speeds wouldn't that be reverse of that that is 4 is to 1 and that's your answer so this was actually a 5 second question but don't waste your 40 seconds to 1 minute you know only to do this calculation so this is the concept of proportionality so that means irrespective of the distance if the distance is fixed you will know that the time and speed have an inverse relationship and you can easily calculate the speed ratio right and this was asking not exact speed but ratio so no need of calculating the exact numbers okay now one more question in this video last question it says x and y are standing 150 meters apart and they start running towards each other okay let's say uh, x and y are uh, standing 150 meters apart so i'll say this is the distance they start running towards each other okay that means x runs in this direction and y runs in this direction now they're saying at what distance from y do they meet each other from y where do they meet each other okay and x speed is given as 72 kilometer per hour and this is given as 144 kilometer per hour so first of all we can convert it into uh, meters per second if you want to and then simply you can calculate how much time they'll take when they meet each other i would say let's not do that also we know the ratio of their speeds is given as 1 is to 2 isn't it 72 into 2 and we also know that for them to meet each other if this covers x distance the other one will cover 2x distance isn't it because speed and distance are in same proportion right directly proportional now we know if this covers x the other covers 2x x plus 2x equals to how much uh, 150 that means your x is 50 meters that means if this guy will cover 50 meters right so let's say somewhere here this guy would have covered 100 meters right so question is what distance from y do they meet each other from y so that means they would meet here so from distance y would be 100 meters this is your answer and see look at the options it says 50 meters of course not because y is running fast even if the speeds were equal they would have met 75 meters here so these options are anyways wrong less than uh, you know 75 or 75 100 was your correct answer so in this video we learned the very important concept of proportionality we learned the simple relationship between time speed and distance so thanks for watching the video and look forward to seeing you in the next video on relative speed and concept of trains and boats and streams Thank you.